Joining me now pitch side is Hereford's manager Josh Gowning after the Hereford's first victory of the season. Um, reflections overall, a comfortable victory? Yeah, um, you know, you kind of think it, but I didn't want to say it before the, uh, you know, the result Saturday, but it's probably a bit of a blessing in disguise we got a draw there. You know, to come back here and then obviously win in front of our fans and get our first win at home um, going into Leamington on Saturday was, was, was probably, you know, what we needed, to be honest. And I think you could feel it around the place. It was relief. Um, you know, we were obviously relieved. The lads have put some really good performances in here, but we've probably not taken our chances and, and give away some goals that we shouldn't have. So it was pleasing that we put a professional performance into that. Very patient as well. You weren't panicking. No, we knew we'd get a lot of the ball. Um, you know, we, we didn't let our centre ask get on the ball as much as we have in the past. Um, so obviously we, we probably worked again a bit more direct and then playing off that and then start playing football. So yeah, patience. Obviously Harry was different class tonight. Obviously he got man of the match, but you know, his free kick was excellent. But, you know, he's so strong on the ball and, you know, you, when you find him, he, he keeps hold of it, which is pleasing. So yeah, I just, I felt like it was a really professional and professional and confident performance, you know, because like I said, we haven't won at home and, and to put in a performance like that, it doesn't matter what opposition you play, um, not having wins and then putting a performance like that was just really pleasing. They were down to 10 men, but they didn't really come out of their shell at all in the match, so it was always going to be a patient approach. Yeah, I mean, when it was 11, I'd like to think they pretty much didn't get out there after they? so, you know, we, I think sometimes when teams go down to 10 men, it can be a bit of a, oh, because then they up their tempo, don't they, and then you think you've got a man extra and then your tempo drops and then it can be a bit of a banana skin, so... Again, I was pleased with our attitude. We we had the same application, same endeavour, uh, and we made the man count, which was really pleasing. And, and to be f credit to them, they didn't stop for 90 minutes. They were an excellent bunch. You know, um, I know a couple of. It's weird. One of their uh, staff, I was in digs with at Bournemouth. I was with his digs with his mum and dad. So it's weird. <laughs> so no, but you know they're excellent all the way through. And now, just again, like I said, just really pleasing. It's a question now of getting that momentum into the league now. Uh, that you have got another opportunity back here at Street. Yeah, uh, we spoke before the game and I said to the lads, you know, it's not going to come easy tonight. Um, we've all got to use this as a springboard, as a platform, especially here, to get our first win and then go to the Leamington game and get an, another result and, an, and another win. So, yeah, I mean, we treat this as a league game. So, for, for, for me, for us, we like, you know, we've just got three points and now we're going to go again Saturday and get another three points. Are you going to make changes again, looking at the opposition, Leamington, obdurate, direct? might need a slight change of approach from this evening? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we dealt with first contact pretty well. Um, we haven't got a massive squad to kind of make, you know, wholesale changes. So we'll we, we look at things. But what I would say is the lads that have come on have, you know, made a case. Um, and that's what you want. You want your, your players that are not playing, you know, not in the starting 11 to come on and, and make a case to start and, and push the, the 11. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it. I'd pick teams based on the opposition. So, yeah, you know, we'll have a look at that. But it's obviously who's available. You talked about desire coming into the game. You wanted the players to show you that, you know, those that weren't playing, you know, I want the shirt. Did you feel you got that out of everybody tonight? Yeah, I, I, I do, to be honest. Um, the big thing for us was the goals we were conceding, we let them happen. That was a big thing for me, and today we didn't. Tonight we didn't let things happen. So we got around things. You know, we're three 0 up. I think at one point, and the lads are trying to throw their bodies on the line at three 0 up. You know, that's the character. You know, and we know we're not far off it. We know we're a work in progress. But what I do, what we do know is we're playing good football. So if we just tighten up in certain areas, then you know we're going to have a very successful season. So we did that tonight, and we've got to go again on Saturday and do that again. Uh, a word for the two lone knees, obviously Levi. Uh, Levy rather, Levy Ando at the back and Oliver yeah. Holbert up front. I thought they showed what it's all about today. Yeah, you know, you never know with an under-23s player. Um, well, Levy has been under-23s for a while now and you never know sometimes whether or not they can deal with men's football and he's come in tonight and he's, he's, he's set up a goal as well, but he was assured, he won his first contacts, he covered round well, he's got a pace about him, he's got physicality about him and then obviously Oli. You can see why he got goals last year because his movement's excellent. You know, he's a poacher. He's a, he was a poacher's finish. You know, Dan's had a, you know, a typical big number nine finish, and then obviously Ollie's come on and and done that. He links up. He's probably a little bit more tidy than Dan at times, um, but both of them were excellent. You know, all game. Word about the crowd. I hope it was lower than probably expected, but they got behind the team. Yeah, it's short notice, isn't it? You know, obviously no one expected us to get a replay here, so that's short notice, but. It was just brilliant. You could feel the relief. I think when the third went in, you could just feel the relief around the place. Um, but they've been brilliant with us the whole time we've been here. And, you know, they stayed and clapped us off at the end. 
which was brilliant. They've been fantastic all season and we're, we're privileged to have them. I don't care if there's two fans here. If there's two fans here and they're clapping us off, we're privileged. So, you know, when we've got to keep performances in for them guys. Thanks for your time. No problem.